Hi, my name is Lynn Hicken. I work for the STEM Center at Southern Utah University. I oversee the STEM library where we have loads of lending materials for teachers and for families to use. I'm going to give you a few tips today about how to use QReserve. So if you go to our website, suu.edu slash STEM, it'll take you to this page right here. And then to see our library, you can just click on STEM Resource Library and it'll take you to this page. You can register and browse our inventory. If you don't already have an account, you can create one. Um, but if you do have an account, you can just log in with your email and your password. All right, so usually you'll go to the sites page. You can see right here, the SEU STEM Center and just click on that logo. And then it takes you to this page where you can begin to search and browse our inventory. So right here is the search bar and I'm gonna type in a microscope, for example. And you can see here that it starts listing the microscopes, but the best way to do a search on QReserve is to click conduct full search for microscope. And this way we will see little icon pictures that go with each of the items that we have. So you can see that we have kids beginner microscopes, then there are regular microscopes, and we have microscope slides, we have the pro scopes, and we have the rainbow easy scopes, which are great for little kids to use. So let's say I wanted to check out some rainbow easy scopes. I'm just gonna click on that. And it will give me two options here at the top. I can check out now, or I can create a future reservation. This is a great tool for teachers who are trying to plan out into the future what items they would like to go with certain lessons that they're planning. But for now, I'm gonna just click on check out now. Over here, you can see the start date and the end date, and it will automatically set it to two weeks. But if you need to alter or edit that, you are welcome to. Um, sometimes people want it for less than the two weeks. Sometimes people need it maybe for three weeks. So you can mess with that around in there. Um, Coming down here, you can see that we do have the Rainbow Easy Scopes in this order. And let's say I wanted to add a resource. Instead of creating multiple orders for the different items, we can just put it all into one order. It will make it easier for you and easier for me. So just click Add Resource. And then we can type in, let's say I wanted to add those microscope slides that I saw to go with these. So I can just type that in and I'll click on the first one which is the number one box. And that looks good to me. I've got the easy scopes and I've got the slides and I'm just gonna click on next. Okay, so now it's asking me to choose an option from this drop-down menu. Um, there is the delivery option, which is free for teachers, but only, only for teachers at schools. Um, if you are a parent, we do ask that you pick it up at the STEM Center and these are our hours and the days that the STEM Center is open that you can come in. Or if you need to make special arrangements, you can do that by emailing us at stemlibrary at suu.edu, which is also written right there. So I'm gonna just choose the pick up at the STEM Center option. Now it says, do you have any questions or special requests regarding your lending order? If you select delivery, comment when you would like it delivered. Um, if you select pick up, Oh, sorry, that's where you would like it delivered. If you select pick up, please comment what day and what time you'd like to come. So let's say I'm gonna come on a Thursday at 12 noon. So let's check out. And that's it, we're all done. That all worked. Um, again, if you have any questions, you're welcome to email us. Uh, my name is Lynn Hicken at and then you can email us at the stem library at suu.edu. Thank you.